Down here with the Challenge Journal, and I'm with the wrestling coach, Mr. Armstrong. <laughs> and you had, let's see, you went against Chapel Hill, and then you went against Apex, but let's start off with Chapel Hill. They came out on top. Yes, uh, very well coached team. Uh, we thought we had the matchups where they were today, but, you know, it's some, you know 182 kind of, we thought we had that and moving forward and stuff. But uh, overall, the boys look good. Oops, sorry. sorry. Yeah, the boys look good, and uh, you know we're, we're continuous improvement, and we can see that with the second match. You know, the guys that got throttled in the first match, you know, they came back, they rebounded. That means their head's right, you know, and they're out to win. All right. So the second match was against uh, Apex. That is correct. Okay. F first match was against Chapel Hill, and that was a conference. That is correct. All yeah. right. And they were actually conference champs last year, weren't they? Uh, yes, they beat Orange in the last match. Yes. All right. Now. Uh, what was the difference between, I think the score was what, 50? 50 to 12, I believe. Yeah, and how, and, I, and we talked that you thought you were going to do well against Apex, but that's considerably better than you thought you were going to do. Yeah, in this, in this matches that we have, the matchups were a lot better the, with, with our kids. And, you know, and like I said before, you know, the kids that lost against Chapel Hill, which we were thinking were going to win, came out here and, and they, they put a show on and they put their moves together so that, that's what we're looking at for improvement. So you saw improvement just between the first match and the second match but we've, 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 we're several matches into the season so who have you seen or and what have been the biggest improvements that you've seen on the team? Well 132 Asher Rock, Asher Rock River uh, phenomenal kid come in he's green uh, was a J JV wrestler last year didn't have a whole lot of mats at time came out here today I mean he, he, we, part, we paired him up with some good matches and the way he handled himself out there. Asher looks great. Ian Morrison at 52 is looking good. Ryan Brinker at 170. He had a tough match uh, at, against Chapel Hill. He was winning and turns around and loses at the end. Um, uh, Jake Dunning looking better. He's a lot of improvement. Jake's only been in the room for about a week now. So, you know, Aiden Vigas. I mean, these kids are, are we're, we're constantly seeing the improvements and the work that they're putting in the room to come out here and compete when we thought we weren't going to have an opportunity to compete. So, you know, these guys are good. Evan Boggess, you know, two great matches. Evan's, Evan's a little bit hurt right now. You know, we're kind of watching the shoulder. Uh, you know, Josh Miller, you know, class act kid, you know, coming out here, wrestling good. Coltrane, Nor Northington, he's been in the room five days and, you know, comes out here and, and turns around and has two pins tonight. So, you know, Coltrane came out, you know, filled a void for us. and. He was one of my elite kids last year. We got him back out on the mat, and you know, tremendous improvements this year. This whole team, just in general. Now, in basketball and football, sometimes we ask the coaches, "What what did you say to the team during halftime?" But you don't have a halftime in wrestling. So, what did you tell the team between the match against Chapel Hill and the match against Apex? So we walked in, you know, with the whole goal. You know, we knew we could beat Chapel Hill if we stayed off our backs. Okay. You know, and some of the kids that got pinned should have never got pinned. And, you know, and that was the difference in the match, you know. Wasn't disappointed in them. I was upset, and, and they knew it. And, you know, and we worked out, you know, some of the kinks that, that we've seen and what I've seen, you know, and they picked up. So they did a tremendous job of just changing it, picking up, and then, you know, they're, you know, they're coachable kids. Every one of them kids in the room is coachable, and you can see it against Apex. So going from match day to next your next matches who, who are you up against next we face uh we got another conference match with orange high school okay so you know the matchups look good you know we're, the, we're giving up 12 points right off the bat so you know we don't have a 20 we don't have a, a uh a 20 pounder and we don't have a um, 38 pounder so that we're losing 12 points orange is losing 12 points so it's going to be even out even keel throughout the whole match so what we're looking at is make sure we got the right matchups like we did tonight with the 132 and move it to 138 or moving down to 126. So, you know, Vigas will be probably at 20, we'll have train at 13 and Josh at 106, you know. We've got another week with Vigas. So it's all about making sure we put the right kid on the right kid at, at Orange. And if we wrestle like we wrestle against Apex, I mean, we, we come home with a win against Orange. Okay, so you're trying to line up the uh, the wrestlers to, to match up well against Orange. Are there any other strategies? Are you When you match them up, are you specifically getting your individual guys to figure out how the other, the person that they may be up against, what they're, how, the, how they, 
how they wrestle? Yeah, that's basically what it is. You know, where we know where Bogus is tight and, and he's tough at, you know, they may have a kid that may, you know, Evan may beat the kid by three points, you know, but if I move Evan to 52 and he pins the kid, we get six points, you know. So it's just experience over over time and knowing what the kids look like, you know. Uh, coach Davis uh, uh, was the previous head coach. He's been here forever. You know, he has a lot more insight than I do on what these kids, I'm an Ohio wrestler. I just go out and wrestle. Down here in North Carolina, it's a little different. You know, we got to put the best kids against you know the right the right kid at the right time. Last question: How do you like being the head uh, wrestling coach? It's an honor. I mean, what what more can I say? I, I I got the best kids in the state in my room. So you know they're coachable. You know they're respectful. Uh, I mean, you know it says enough. I mean they're all you know good grades and stuff like that. And they're all being clowns from behind you, Gene. So, but no, it, it's, it's a right. tremendous honor. And I want to thank Coach Vernon, Coach Amy, Dr. Walston, uh, Chatham County School Board for allowing me the opportunity to, to take the team after Coach Amy walked away. Gene, you've been great. Love watching you. Uh, thanks again for staying late tonight, and I appreciate it. Hey, uh, you, you turned it around from the first uh, up against Chapel Hill to, to Apex. You got Orange coming up. Folks, Coach Armstrong here. Thank you very much. Thanks, Gene.